ISS, which is the International Student Union, and he has asked me, Edo, are you learning Chinese? Not necessarily, TJ, I'm learning Chinese, although I have translated songs from Chinese. The context is that I, there is a picture of me with a poster in the back that has Chinese letters that says week one through three. And actually how I got in that was we were doing a play. She gave them to me because she knew how much I liked Asian culture. Dajaha everyone, and I'm back with another video. And also for this special video, I am going to try to basically translate this in Chinese if I can. Hello everyone, and here I am with another one. Yeah, hi everyone. It's me, Edo4, back with another video yet again. But it's a bit of a switch up. And you know why? Because this time around, I'm going to be talking about the Taiwanese group SHE. But next time, it will be another Japanese artist or group again. Unless some more comments come through for more artists or group for the more old school Mando Pop. This is also my first group in that genre as it well. As usual, I will go over the beginning through today for she from the best of my knowledge while speaking in the best Taiwanese I possibly can. But as a huge favor to you all, I will add the subtitles for traditional, simplified, and of course the English subtitles at the same time. Now let's jump into history. So I know all y'all are asking, what does SHE stands for anyway? Well, if you guys remember TLC and SES, they both stands for their names, which leads us to S for Selena. Selena Jen, born on October the 31st in 1981 in Xinlin, Taipei, Taiwan. Next is H for Hebe Tian. Born in 1983 on the 30th of March and from the Sungfang Henshun County, Taiwan. And lastly, E for Ella Chen. Born on the same year as Selena on June the 18th and from Pingtung, Taiwan. Even though their childhood stories are unknown, one thing for sure is that they always love music, dancing, and acting. Which brings us to the start of the 21st century. A new music company at the time was called Grand Music International Inc. They held an event called Universal 2000 Talent and Beauty Girl Contest to figure out a new way to pick out artists and groups on the 8th of August with a thousand girls to choose from and narrowed it down to 45, 6, and the final three. Selena has entered the contest because her little sister Leone wanted to enter the contest, but she was too young. They're seven years apart. Selena joined the contest for her little sister and sung Coco Lee and Christina Aguilera songs to win through the finals. Hebe's voice cracked through half the competition so that's why she decided to sing in the low pitch tone through Kitchan and many more. Ella previously worked in a hospital for duties, but once she got a call for the contest, she joined right in. The shows that they performed was called was translated called Cruel Stage, picked and judged to the final three. And the record company wanted all three of the girls to stay in the dorm so they can get to know each other. Which not only brings us to our next chapter, but brings them to the first album that changed everything.
The first album they started the next year is called New Saint Social, which is the girls' dorm, released on the September of 2001. There were six out of ten songs that were singles and music video, such as Beauty Up My Life, Fridge, Too Much, Are You Alright, He Is Him, and Bay Yo Way Man, Not Yet Lovers. The biggest thing that is going to shock you is their popular song from the first album translated as Not Yet Lovers was number three on the charts. That's not the shocking part. It's a cover from the American group Destiny's Child Brown Eyes from their third album Survivor. Since I can't really show you the difference because of copyright, I want you to pause this video to search up these two songs and play them both at the same time. I'll wait. I'll wait. Ain't that surprising? But my favorite song from this album was called HBO. And I'll definitely get into why that is my favorite song later. Along with the other songs as well. They were nominated for the next year of Best New Artists in the Golden Melody and Singaporean Awards. Another new change before I move on to their second album is the record label was called H.I.M., which stands for the Huan International Music. They were the first group and artists to be produced by this company and got English nicknames such as Cola, Antenna, and Water. So the group was almost going to be called C.A.W. Ka. Their first album won 16th place while having 160,000 copies sold with possibly more during the recording being that this is the 20th anniversary. And if you guys still don't believe me on how SAG got their name, here's a clip that I'll definitely show you. Now we move on to the second album of 2002 for the Youth Society as Kongshong Joshi Hoshi, released on the January 29th of that year. Every single of the song is a music video, especially the cover of Never Been to Me from Charlene. Well, on that note, Remember is a sample from Swan Lake from Hermit of Clan. Their third album, Genesis, released on the 5th of August on that same year of 2002, while also starting in two drama series translated as Magical Love and The Rose, going on their first concert tour called the NH Genesis Concert of the 24th of August. And yes, this album has also had many music videos. This has continued until their ninth album, and also for the third album, they did a cover of Woman in Love from Barbara Streisand. Also, two things before we move forward to the fourth album is that they won the Billboard of Top 10 for the Youth Society and the Brand New World of Genesis of three awards, while all of them have the earliest success in, the early tw in their early 20s. While on that note, they have done two greatest hits albums such as Together and Forever. They both featured two to four, five new songs from their previous album. Together was released in the new year of 2003, January the 23rd. And Forever was released on the 26th, July in 2006. At that time, Ella couldn't be at certain awards and television programs because one of the variety shows that they were on had a possible challenge to jump from a third story building. And so that injured her spine. And the other members didn't want to take that challenge. Thankfully, when it came to the fourth album coming up next, she was all ready to perform again. She is also known to have accidents a lot, kind of like this. The fourth album released from the trio of what they are 
is Superstar, released in the year of 2003 on August the 22nd. And this is the album that won four awards in a row. Next is the fifth album to their magical journey in the year of 2004 on the 6th of February and won the 16 Golden Taiwan Awards. The sixth album in the same year is an encore that came on the 12th of November and top selling in Hong Kong. Also, their tour of Fantasyland came to Malaysia and the US of A of Las Vegas. And also released the same day as Eminem's fifth album, Encore, was released. Once Upon a Time, there was a seventh album, released on the 25th of November in 2005. The biggest songs in this album was Supermodel and Buyang Zanda, Don't Wanna Grow Up, along with a lot of other lists from this chart right here. The second to last album for this chapter is Play, in store of the 11th of May 2007. And this was their first album that made it to number one place on the Taiwanese chart. The last album to cover for this chapter is Radio FM SHE. This is the ninth album tuning in on the 23rd of September in 2008, while on the Perfect 3 tour. Ang Jing Li, It's Quiet Now, was number one hit song from this album, and also features another group from their last album called Fahrenheit, which started two years ago and ended in 2011. Speaking of ending, we're about to reach the last chapter of SHE. <laughs> We now have three more albums in the She history before we move on to the last chapter, which is Shiro, Blasphemy, and Irreplaceable, while going on two more tours too. Shiro is on the 26th of March in 2010 of their 10th album, placed at number 7 with Love Is So Right being the highest ranking song from that album. Coming up in 2012 is their 11th album, Blasphemy, growing on the 16th of November and placed on the 6th and 5th place too. Their last 12th album, Young Ye Do Sai, Irreplaceable, on the 26th of August 2016, winning 44th place on the chart. They have since then started a family have solo albums and careers, and have done just so much more. There was also an incident where Selena was in a fire accident on a set of a show and divorced, but still moving through this year now. And without further ado, why do I love SHE? <laughs> The reason why I love She is because they're all so different from one another. They were the new generation of foreign love and the Thailand Chinese duo China Dolls. Well, on that note, like I've said before, they were the first group of Mandarin pop that I've ever noticed. And also on that case, here is my characteristics or what they remind me of before I move on to how I found them. Selena, the mother of the group, of being clean and leading the group, reminds me of Jolin Sai. Hebe is in the middle of clean and crazy, so she reminds me of Vivian Hitsu. Look at me! Come on! I didn't forget you, Ella. She's the crazy one, but she's also funny and beautiful in her own way. So I place her with Marvis Fan. And now I'm going to speak in Taiwanese on how I first found the group. And again, I've added subtitles 
just in case of my attempt of speaking Taiwanese is too awful. Please wish me luck for this one. And here we go. Duye Zai Ta Shi Jin, Wo Fang Sin Wu Bin Zuo Mini Moni, Wo Zai Mi Mega Upload Shou Zuo Nai Shou Ga. Telephone goes ring, ring, ring. Dang Ho Lai Wo Fang Se La, Ring, ring, ring. S A T R Little Shou Nen Wo Shi Su Da Shai Shi Wei. MV Feng Shai Shukui Le Ping Zuo Zhao Guo He Wo Ye Him Bei SAC Shou Wo Ding Zai Wo Shu Wei Beng Yang Ho Yo Do Tam Men Le Zhe De Guang Do Wo MV HBO Beauty Up My Life MV Ying Wei Fa She Zing Zai Wo Yang Tam Men Zhe Tan Lun Wo Rich Shan Sing Ho Zong Fast Bang De Yo Hey Yang Zhe De Shi Kui Tam Men Zong Shi Ba Kui Gao Lo Man Man Tam Men De M V Hong Go Go Ge Jin De Hong Do Hun Do R Young Ying Su Mei, Wo Jimbu Dala Tam Mei, Wo Chidi Sui, Sing Zai, Wo Shimbu Jo Wei Su Wei S A G Wo Ying Wan. I have now declared S H E Day on the tenth of September. Ming Shi Shoumin, Jun Yang Wo Zhang Za Faxin Nerlan. Kuan Zeng Tamen De De Yerzi Zur Yang Yang Nerten Woman Do Fang Zeng Kappa De Shukwen Na Na Ner Shi Er Shur Nan Ten Da Shala Wo Bok Su Ting Nan Goshi Wera Beng Zhe Su Wo Ren Wo Zai Yer Zeng Zulai Shatse De Guo Yurtai Yang Zai De SHE Zhang Jefusu Ying Wing Fai Wei Go Woman D Rizai Du Dala Le Shu Du Si Ying Yang De Ying Wang Nim Zhu Zai Le Me Guo Ying Tai Da Da Fang Dai Gai San Shi Da Wo Shen Ying Shou Ba Woman Shu Wen Do Ke Kuan Zhu S A G R Mei Yo Zin Zai Ning Tan Lan Feng Shou De Kama Shou Guan Shun Se Wo Wo Shi Zai Fa Shou Zhu Shou De Kuo Tai Ri Zhe To Zai Dan Wo Je Jie Zhu Lai Gang Kappa Deng Shu Zai Zhu Shi Zhu Zhan Zhi Dan De De Tan Mini Moni Second Single Zhu Shu Shi Yu Ban Bu Shu Yan Dai Zhe Shu Zeng Zhu Bu Shi Ne Rang Wu Mei Yi Taiwan He Shu Ge Der Guo Zai Feng Zhe Zhang Zuo Esi Ji Ri Zhuo Shi Yu Bai Ho Zong Ai Su Zong Nen Guai Lo Ying Wan SHE Day will be on September the 10th and happy 20th anniversary Wu Zwang Ni Men Do Zha Wu Shan Shi Shu Tai Yo Zan Zhu Zan Yong Ying Zhe Hu Huai Ying Wai My other favorite thing that I loved about them is that they always have each other's back no matter what happened and have stayed friends to the very end of time. They won 140 awards 
and most other songs are covers from American and Japanese songs, but they put their own spin on it, especially since Beauty Up My Life is just a faster version of HBO. And can anyone tell me what does HBO stands for and what does it mean for the song? This is not only just my favorite song because it's not just because they're singing in English, but it's also an introduction to the world of she, especially with their mixed genres of songs too that is put in with their songs. My other favorites that is on this list is Remember, Never Been To Me, Woman In Love, Magic, Yes I Love You, If You're Happy I'm Pleased, Superstar, I.O. I.O., Supermodel, Rainy Day, Only Lonely, Never Mind, My First Song, Ring Ring Ring, 17, in Chinese Language. This particular song was under controversy because people thought that they were selling out to China, but really the song is about how they just admire all language, whether it's simplified or traditional while putting hip-hop beat into it as well. Speaking of which, to the people who are fighting in Hong Kong for freedom, good luck to you all. Don't give up. And thank you of all parts of the central state of Asia for listening today to my story of SAG. And now we move on to our sponsors for this video. <laughs> Now, our shout outs for today, it goes to 8050 Quizzy, Johnny Casanova, Rick Rivers, Louis Odrio, an up and coming artist called Olitias, BMB, Negative Lover You, and last but not least, SHE. So, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoy my new change and pace of reports. As usual, please comment and share my video. And coming soon is not just the third episode of my podcast. I'll also be back with another Japanese report of group D&D. Also on that note, if you guys would like me to have a simplified version of how I feel about the people in Russia and also the report I did about the gum being in Hong Kong. I'll definitely have the link of that down below and we'll see if I could put the simplified and tradition and also the puffy video as well. See you later. Cheers. Zing Zai Poloman, but I'll see you all again. But this time we have a switch up. You know why? Because this time I'm going to talk about the Taiwanese group. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. First blooper of that. Alright. And Forever was released on the 26th of July in 2006. At the time, Ella couldn't be at certain awards or television programs because one of the variety shows that was on that they... Mm, well, on that note, they have done do two. Mm. There we go. It's, and she's also known to how to. Because one of the variety. Mm. Because one of the variety shows that they were on, they would have to jump from a third story building. But when Ella has done it, it ruptured. Oh, God. Uh, 
he is also known to do accidents like this very frequently. Mm. Because one of the variety shows that they were on had a possible challenge to jump from a third story building. Oh wait. Also their tour, tour, mm. This is the ninth album turning to mm. Ying Ying Wang Ying 